Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we are taking a look at an Israeli Swiss FK-31 diopter-mounted competition marksman's rifle. That's a, a whole lot of a mouthful there. I previously did a video on the companion rifle to this, which is a K-31 manufactured with a four-power quick-detach scope mount that was used by the early Israeli military as a sniper rifle, the guns that were ordered from Hammerley in like 1948 or 1949. And so if you haven't seen that video, definitely check that one out. I'll link it in the description here. But I thought it'd be really cool to follow that video up with one showing you the other pattern of rifle that the Israelis ordered at the same time. So the short version is the nascent Israeli military ordered 200 rifles from Hammerley in Switzerland. Now, Hammerley wasn't a manufacturer of Swiss issue military rifles, but they did make K31 Schmidt Rubin carbines, like this one, uh, for the civilian market. This was, of course, a popular, it was the standard Swiss military rifle at the time. And so a lot of the marksmanship competition in Switzerland, even civilian marksmanship, was done with military standard pattern rifles, the K31. Anyway, uh, the Israelis are looking for arms from basically anywhere they can get them. There's a lot of international sanction involved that they have to sneak around. They get some guns out of Czechoslovakia, but here they have an opportunity to buy some stuff from Switzerland, but they have to do it covertly. So these 200 rifles are actually, according to Hammerley's records, sold to Nicaragua, but they end up on a ship that sinks off the coast of Egypt and the guns end up in Israel. And we know these guns ended up in Israel because there are a couple of them in some Israeli museums. The scoped versions have Israeli proof marks and, and acceptance marks all over them. The diopter sites are a little bit less, a little bit more subtle. And one, I have to wonder why the Haganah was buying, would buy 100 competition style diopter sight rifles. I suspect it would have been for marksmanship training. I've Absolutely no proof to that, it's pure speculation, but that's my guess looking at this rifle up close. So let me show you it up close and uh, then we'll take uh, discuss what happened to them. These rifles are essentially Swiss commercial production target models of the K31. Uh, if you notice, it, you notice anything missing here, there's actually no rear sight mounted on the guns because they were fitted with these really fancy, nice diopter sights instead. The official designation was FK, which stands for like precision rifle, and these are serial numbered from 1 up to 100. The ZK scoped rifles are serial numbered from 101 up to 200. Uh, so the markings here are one difference. The FKs are actually marked with the Hammerley crest on the receiver, where the ZK scoped ones have nothing up here, just a blank receiver. Uh, also worth pointing out, there are no Swiss cross emblems anywhere on this rifle because it is not a military production model. Hammerley had a couple of minor differences in the production of these rifles than the standard military K31s. Obviously, the lack of rear sight is one of them. The uh, cutout in the stock here to accommodate these sights this cut right here in the receiver, which continues all the way back, that's the mounting point for the diopter sight. The WF Burn, the actual military production arsenal, did make diopter competition rifles, but they attached the sights over on this side, which required uh, less modification of the design. The front sight, uh, front sight base is the same, but the blade has been replaced by this diopter style of front sight. And, of course, inside that you have removable inserts. So you can press these two little tabs backward and pull the inserts out and replace the inserts with those of different size. Typically you would do that to match the size of the bullseye target that you are shooting at. One of the reasons I speculate these were used for training, perhaps, is because diopter style sights like this are really much better for formal competition than they are for battlefield use. A lot of your field of view is obscured by all of the, the various apertures involved in a diopter sight. Back on the rear sight here we have our adjustments for windage and elevation, and then you can actually change the diopter aperture that you're using. So if you see the center aperture there, I can change it to different sizes, some really tiny ones, and some slightly progressively larger ones. 
And in other facets this remains mechanically a K31. So the same six round detachable magazine, the same 7.5 by 55 millimeter Swiss cartridge. Uh, the Israelis couldn't really afford to be very picky about things like ammunition um, at this point uh, in history. They really wanted to take what they could get. So presumably they acquired some ammunition at the same time, although I don't have any specific information about that. A small number of these rifles have filtered out of Israel at various times. There are a couple in museums, a batch of them I believe went through Germany, uh, exported onto the civilian market through Germany. So sometimes you will find these uh, and the, the ZF-31 scoped rifles with German proof marks on them. Uh, Germany has proofing laws, so guns that come in have to be proofed. This particular one did not go through Germany, or at least did not get proofed, and it is in absolutely beautiful condition. does not look like it was ever actually used, which to me furthers the speculation of why was the Haganah buying them? I'm sure there's a really interesting explanation, whether it was for training or some sort of miscommunication. Maybe they didn't even intend to buy diopter rifles. Maybe it was a substitution if enough scopes were not available. I have no idea. Hopefully someday more information on these will come out. Things that are acquired covertly like this are often difficult to learn about much later. Often records get deliberately destroyed or deliberately not kept in the first place. Anyway, uh, I thought it was really cool to see one of the FK-31s. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Thanks for watching.